Anouk Schmidt is confined to a wheelchair. Three years ago, a botched hepatitis vaccination paralyzed both her legs. Anouk is 24 years old, and she's determined to learn to walk again with the help of an exoskeleton. But so far, only a few paraplegics in Germany have made their dream of walking again come true. Anouk Schmidt and her partner Lukas Kapfer have become experts on exoskeletons. Anouk and Lukas are intrigued by these mechanisms that can help some people walk again. The couple spends hours doing research online. That's fine, you can't tell if you're wearing black. Looks like something out of a Star Wars movie. But he doesn't have to use crutches. Yeah, but look at this. That's just Nikki wearing that rewalk. The Rex Bionic, the Exo Together. Anouk's favorite model is made by Rewalk. Tomorrow she'll try it out for the first time. She has high hopes for what this exoskeleton can do, not only for herself, but also for her relationship with Lukas. They met two years ago. I'd love to be able to see him at eye level. We've only known each other sitting and standing. Sometimes he lifts me out of my wheelchair. I can't stand on my own, and he can't hold me up for very long. I just want to be able to stand up and look at him directly in the eyes. Anouk would also like to go shopping on her own, without having to rely on others. How many? Six? You're the cook. I'd say six. They do most of their shopping at this organic supermarket in their hometown near Frankfurt. It might be a bit more expensive, but the aisles are especially wide. Even then, Anouk soon reaches her limits. When I see something that's high up on the shelf, I can't reach it. I've tried. I could fall. I can't do much shopping on my own. Anouk hopes that an exoskeleton will make her life easier. For example, she could deal with people at eye level. Now she often feels that people treat her like a child, simply because she's in a wheelchair. Before she was paralyzed, Anouk loved to cook. Now all she can do is help Lukas. We divide the workload. I do the slicing, and Lukas does the fun stuff. Anouk doesn't think she'll get much sleep tonight. She's too excited about tomorrow's first practice run with the exoskeleton. This plötzlich I'd be able to meet people at eye level, not sitting down. Right now, people talk over my head, even when they bend down to meet me. I'd love to stand at the same height as others and walk on my own. I can't even describe how great that would be. The next morning, Anouk arrives in her specially equipped car for physical therapy. Her first test with the exoskeleton is just minutes away. Anouk knows that the new mechanism won't fully replace her wheelchair. Still, she is excited at the prospect of being able to stand on her own two feet again for the first time in three years. She bought a pair of larger shoes just for today's test, because the exoskeleton takes up extra room at the soles of her feet. But slipping into the high-tech machine is harder than it looks. I'll give you a hand. Just pull it. It won't break. It takes several minutes to fit the rewalk properly. So, yeah. 
Lucas can hardly wait to see Anouk standing on her own two feet. The trainer explains how to operate the mechanism. To start it, she has to lean forward. When she leans back, it stops. Bend your elbows, swing forward, move the supports forward. Then, finally, Anouk takes her first steps. Lean forward and back. It sounds easy, but in practice it's pretty difficult. And it wears you out. I've got spasms in my right leg and the walking is making it a little worse. I need to take a break. Move the supports back. Catch yourself. Some water? Yes, please. Anouk is exhausted. Lukas is stunned. One meter seventy is taller than you think. Yeah. After a short break, the training continues. <laughs> that was better, right? Yeah. <laughs> now Anouk can really enjoy walking. Her trainer is impressed that she learns so quickly. She worked with the system and did a good job of reacting to all the data that came in. And she was quick to find her center of gravity. That usually takes three or four sessions. I'm so relieved and happy. I can't stop smiling. But I'm also glad that this session is over. The last few steps really wore me out. And I got really confused with leaning forward and into the turn. But I'm definitely looking forward to next time. Anouk's insurance company will decide whether there will be a next time. The rewalk representative tells her that the approval procedure can take time. The exoskeleton costs over 90,000 euros. So far, only 23 rewalks have been authorized in Germany. And the patients often had to wait several years to get one. Six months later, Anouk and Lukas are visiting a trade fair for physical rehab products. Anouk will demonstrate how the rewalk mechanism works. But the insurance company has denied her request for her own exoskeleton. I expected that, but I was still disappointed. They said I had a wheelchair to compensate for disability and could do various standing exercises, so I couldn't justify the cost of a rewalk. But my doctors and I disagree with that assessment. Experts say walking is the best therapy for wheelchair-bound patients, especially paraplegics. If you rest, you rust. I'd like to see those insurance people sit in a wheelchair for just a week. Then they can stand up and sit back down. I'd like them to tell me how it feels. Anouk is frustrated, but Rewalk's head of marketing, John Freitas, provides some comfort. Some insurers now realize that this isn't just a gimmick. It's everyday reality. So I think that eventually, more and more of them will approve coverage. During the presentation, Anouk sees what life could be like if she stays with the training program. This man has been paralyzed for years. By now, even stairs are no longer an obstacle. Anouk wants to be able to walk like that too, as soon as possible. But now, in front of a big crowd, she's overcome by a case of nerves. I don't feel as safe in this mechanism as I did in the original. It's a case of mind over matter. Many of the people here are really good at using it. And I wouldn't want to trip or anything. I was happy that I could just stand up. The host asks Anouk what she'd do first if she had her own exoskeleton. Take a walk with my dog and my boyfriend. 
We sure hope that happens. Thank you for coming today. It's almost Christmas. The letters from her insurance company and local government officials now fill several binders, but they still haven't given their approval. The district of Gießen concludes that this device is non-essential. I think the insurance company is just trying to put off making expensive investments for as long as possible. Because after two years and countless requests that have been denied, patients lose interest. Or they simply might not need something expensive like that anymore. But Anouk refuses to give up. She's just filed her third appeal with the insurance company. But wading through all this red tape has taken its toll on her. I might not appear desperate, but inside I have to admit that I am. But at the same time, I see that others eventually get a rewalk. And that gives me hope. I think I'm just too optimistic to give up on something like this. You just have to keep on hoping. After all, Anouk's dream of walking with her dog and boyfriend is bound to come true sooner or later.